beautiful people it's Bridget welcome back hope you're having a great day in today's video it's going to be very pink so today we're gonna be doing an all pink makeup look I currently have pink hair for the day um and I decided I'd do an all pink look I thought it'd be super cute and girly I even put these contacts in that have pink in them because like all pink so without any further ado let's jump to the video Alright guys, before we get started, I'll make my channel is cruelty free and so is everything I'm using in today's video. Also, today's pink makeup tutorial is sponsored by Soja Vision, who have really affordable sunglasses. They specialize in sunglasses, they also have scarves and blue light lenses on their site. So, I live in Florida now and it's really hot and the sun is always beaming down on me. And I only really had one pair of glasses when I came down here and the little nose thing on, on broke. So, I needed some affordable glasses and I checked out their site. And they have a lot of really cute pairs because I'm really cheap and these are really affordable. The ones I got are from $10 to $29 and the rest of them are $14.99. So they have a ton of affordable glasses on their site. So if you guys like seeing Instagram models and stuff with really cool sunglasses, they have a lot of very similar shapes up there. And if you want to check them out, I'll leave it at the top of the description box. Now let's get into the makeup look. Okay, so it is hot as hell today. It's hot every day. I waited until 7 p.m. to film today's video. And it's still super hot. Um, cause like, my apartment only has, it doesn't have like an overhead apartment like, AC unit thing. It's only the one in like the front window. So my filming room doesn't have any AC and I can't even have it on in the other room when I'm filming cause it's too loud. But like, even when it's on it doesn't get to this room. It's just super super hot over here. All the time I need to put like a ceiling fan in or something. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get started. Before I sweat off everything. I already did my pink brows because I don't like doing brows on camera if I don't have to because they're just super time consuming. I feel like I, look, I, look, I make a really weird face is making sure the arch looks okay. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with a primer. This is the Rose Toner by Wet n Wild. It's on clearance right now at Ulta if you want to check it out. I think it's like $2.99 right now. But I think Walgreens and everything already got rid of them and got the crystal collection. It went in my mouth. It doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste terrible. It don't taste good. Okay. Um, for foundation, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define because I'm not really doing anything. It's already really late. I just need to like do one or two errands last minute. I don't like doing it during the daytime because it's too hot and then like right around 5 o'clock is too much traffic. So I'll wait until a little bit later to do some errands today. I like this concealer. I'm not in love with it. It's not like the most full cover thing in the world. But it has this decent finish for being like a $9 mask, $9 foundation, $12. I love how usually when I film I forget to wet a beauty blender. I don't know why I always do that. Beauty blenders should come pre-moistened. Oh, that'd be disgusting. I don't know why I'm even saying that. It should not happen. Do not do that, beauty blender, please. It'd be gross. But I just have a bad habit of like getting to my face, priming and everything, and putting foundation on. I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to wet a beauty blender, so I got it really quickly go do that before it like sticks. I wasn't even sure if I was going to do pink brows with this look because I feel like it would be overkill but I kind of feel like with an all pink look it's going to be overkill anyway so too late. So did you guys see the new Black Mirror trailer right? Three episodes. Now we all know the people who made Black Mirror made the Bandersnatch like interactive game thing for Netflix I don't feel like it was worth it. <laughs> they took all the budget, I think, for the new season of Black Mirror and it was not worth it. Like, it was, it was cool. It was a fun interactive game, like, all that, but I feel like I would have enjoyed a full season of Black Mirror more. Like, I'm glad they tried something different. But Netflix, you got the money. Give me more than three episodes of Black Mirror. Or, like, wait. I mean, like, I don't want you to wait. Like, I want all the Black Mirror, like, right now. But I don't know why they're releasing three episodes and calling it a season. Like, if I was Netflix, I would have just waited till they had more episodes. Even if it took longer to put the full season out. Um, but that's just me. Like, I'm glad we're getting three episodes better than none. Because I know that we all have, you know, you know I know we're getting the three episodes. But if I was Netflix, I would have just held them probably. Because three episodes for a season is like, nothing. Meanwhile, animes and stuff put out like 40 episodes <laughs> completely fully animated for a season. 
or maybe they're trying to get the viewers that are like ending the season of Twilight Zone because I think they're on episode they just did episode 8 so they're probably only have 10 episodes of Twilight Zone to watch so maybe they're trying to get like okay when Twilight Zone ends we're gonna start Black Mirror because it's a very similar concept of a show I'm gonna take this little locket setting powder under my eyes it's not the most brightening under eye powder but since I'm not doing many things today I'm gonna go ahead and use this one since I have it instead of like my good powders. Am I the only one who's like really particular about what powder I use that day? Because I feel like my Jeffree Star powder and my Cover FX powder are my holy grails. So I don't want to waste them on a day I'm not doing anything important. Speaking of doing important things, I am so happy to have a day off today. I got the whole day off from work and I'm just so happy. I, I worked the last four days, which really isn't that much, but I can't wear like real shoes. I have to wear like belly flats or heels. I can't wear like sneakers and fun comfortable shoes. So like my feet have been killing me this past couple days. Okay so Jacqueline Hill said use a sponge all over your face instead of just under the eyes. So I'm gonna do that today. See how this works out. See how it looks. Um but yeah I'm very happy to have a day off. I'm sure you guys are like hoping for the weekend too. I'm really starting to warm up to Florida. Like I know 100% that I do not want to go back to North Carolina. Like I'm not saying I'm happy here because like, I don't know. I'm still very not in the right headspace. But just thinking about like, oh, in North Carolina, I didn't have any of this or, oh, I bet it's cold there today kind of thing. Or talking to Daniel on the phone and like, him being like, oh, let me go find a sweater. I'm like, ugh, I don't want that. I don't want the sweaters. <laughs> so I am, I, I don't know, I'm warming, I'm warming up to it and it's warming me up too much. Like, I wish it wasn't so sweatier. It's only May and I'm like drenching sweat filming. <laughs> so like August, I'm going to pre-film the whole month of August because it's going to be too hot to film. But like, it's, it's so beautiful here. Like, honestly, like. North Carolina is a beautiful state overall, but like when you just live there and it's like all dead fields half the year and oh here's some pine trees making a mess everywhere. Now I have like beautiful green grass outside when I'm going places. I see beautiful palm trees everywhere. They have all these lively like full leafy bushes and it's like really, it's a beautiful state and then you go over a bridge, which we have beautiful bridges in North Carolina too. But like it's just I don't know it's Florida is absolutely beautiful but like look how tan my hand is compared to my face right now. I'm using so much more bronzer down here than I ever thought I would. And because my skin tans so easy like you guys see me like this all the time with my neck and everything because it's how I look in North Carolina because it doesn't get too sunlighty and I don't go outside but I've been like going outside for work it takes me every it takes me like 25 minutes to get everywhere here so my arms are like driving getting sun and stuff i'm not used to like getting sun i didn't i haven't gotten sun like this since i was a teenager um which judging from my youthful look today might think it was like yesterday but it was many years ago <laughs> um so the first bronzer i'm gonna take today is the reserve your cabana i found an extra one of these at ulta for 3.99 I'm very excited about it. It was on clearance section, so I haven't found like a Walgreens or anything that still has this. But Ulta still has it for $3.99 and you girl bought the only one they had left. If they had more, I would have bought more. Just it just and then like when I was getting checked out, they were like, is this really used as a bronzer? I'm like, yeah, I use it as a bronzer. Like it, it doesn't really a bronze. It doesn't really bronze your skin too much. I don't know if you can tell it did or not. It just gives like a little bit of a glow to the skin and like it gives your skin a soft finish to it and it's beautiful and they're discontinuing in it and it's bold like even if you want to put like this color in a different pan like the little square pans they have now that's fine just keep the color just keep the color it's beautiful and now the rest of them are like bronzers they're not like here's a glowy beautiful slightly tan finish this new ones are just like bronzer not here for it. Not here for it all. For contour today, I'm going to use the Cover FX uh, Perfector Face Palette in light medium because 
I'm obsessed and I mix it with the finishing powder like it's best mixed with the finishing powder like the contour on its own might not be the most beautiful color but you mix it with the finishing powder and it's just lovely like ugh, so easy to work with now bringing that really far in today I don't know why I just felt like it some people are like why do you bring your contour in that far like because it's my face I can do what I want whenever I um contour my forehead I have to bring it all the way into like my hairline because my hair is so thin here I'm like ah put it all up in that hairline because you can see my scalp right through it I have no hair there it's so annoying also I know you can hear my chair going every two seconds because this chair is just a pain in the butt it's like the six dollar like cheapest chair they had at Ikea <sighs> I need to like upgrade it to like a slightly taller chair so you can see my beautiful shelf look at my beautiful shelf look how beautiful that is but I'm down here, so I gotta get a taller chair and one that doesn't squeak so much. And one day, I'm gonna learn how to contour my nose. The blush today I'm gonna be using is Obsessed by Urban Decay, which is super pinky pink and super cute. I'm using it on a Real Techniques brush. You know, I'm gonna do this tomorrow. No, I have to go to work. It would be like, like 8 a.m. tomorrow, so I think I'm gonna try the Jacqueline Hill tick trick that she put in today's video like I watched it just before I came in here um and she like puts powder all over her face with a sponge instead of a brush so I did that and I'm gonna do that tomorrow too and see if it really works because she lives in Florida too and it's hot as hell and my makeup is always slipping off my face by the time I'm done with work and then I'm thinking people at work think I'm like looking real rough because just can't get it to stay like the makeup just wants to slide off and underneath my chin starts to break up and look all gross Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to use the Ofra Pillow Talk because it's pink. Not because I'm obsessed with it or anything, even though, like, I am. <laughs> oh, so much highlighter. I always go way too heavy-handed in this thing. I'm always like, ding, 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 and I'm supposed to be like... But I just love it. It's so cute. Oh, that's too much highlighter. I'm keeping it on. I don't care. I'll make the other side match. So for my pink eye look, I'm going to try this new primer. This was gifted to me by Ofra to review, um, but I'm like curious. I want to see if it's good or not. So this is the Ofra Eye Gel Primer. An eye gel primer? I had never heard of one of these before. Um, and I also got their Verified Palette and their Verified Eyeliner. This eyeliner is so good, like their black eyeliner. So good. I'm going to be using that today too because I like a good black eyeliner. And that's really nice. And then you can shake it like if it gets a little dry, but... But this is their gel eye primer. I'm going to try this today because I'm curious. This is what the wand looks like. Uh, huh. Okay, so let me read the instructions because I'm very confused. Your lids will be prepped and ready for long wear primer that sets lids up to 12 hours. With the applicator, apply product to clean, dry lids, blend out with your finger, or a flat synthetic brush. I blend it out with my finger. I feel like blending it out with my finger or a sponge is the best way, but since it said finger or brush, I'm going to use finger. It's not as jelly as I thought it was going to be. I don't dislike it. It's very soft. Um, but it, it's not like I figured it would be a uh, gel. -y. A gel eyelid primer sounds so unique, though. I'll give them credit for that. It's very intriguing. It made me want to try it. Okay, so now that that's all blended in and like hopefully that's a good color I don't know I'm gonna use this little real techniques blending brush because a lot of my brushes are dirty and I'm gonna use the Ooh La La palette by ColourPop because it's super super pink and cute I think the first shade I'm gonna take is poodle let's take poodle and buff it over the crease just to see how this eyelid primer reacts with it um because I'm confused by the gel primer but we'll see it's going on okay over it actually Okay, so I gotta figure out something to do about this filming room air situation because I told you guys I have a skin condition and sweat is not good for it, like in between the creases of my arms and stuff and I'm bending my arms filming and I'm starting to feel kind of irritated. So I gotta figure out some kind of air situation or how to film and not bend my arms too much. Because I can go ahead and I can feel it starting to burn and that's not... It's not going to be cute tomorrow if I keep doing this. 
So I find the primer to be fine. Um, I am having a little bit more of an issue blending it out though. It kind of just wants to stick where I put the eyeshadow, which is good for like long wear, you know, like it said up to 12 hours of wear. Um, but it is a little bit harder to blend out the edges with this because it's just kind of stuck where I put the shadow. Not too big of a deal if you are going for like a long wear look, but I would probably use concealer if I was just going out and doing errands and stuff like today. So the next shade I want to take, I'm just going to use my finger um, for this one, and it's going to be a big sugar, which is this really pretty pink. I'm using more of a purpley pink lip color today. So I'm going to go like this really pretty pink all over the lid for the eye look. It's super pink. Everything about this look is just like, we get it, pink. <laughs> I'm going to go back into the palette now and use this sand bar and add a little more pop of hot pink into it because it's looking a little bit mm, basic. I'm going to add a little more hot pink to it. So I'm going to keep the lower lash line blank just to like give my face a little bit of like not too much pink on it because I am doing a pink lip too. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little lip lip balm. This is the Brazilian Kiss by Sol de Janeiro. Super nice, super big. Oh, and I also brought these other pink things I could use on my eyes today. So we have the birthday cake by ColourPop, which is a pretty pink, or the jelly pink. I love, I don't know if you guys tried, these little jelly shadows by ColourPop. They are so bomb. Like, I look like this looking at myself, so I lose most of my eyelid. Um, But these don't crease, and it's really good. So I definitely recommend these. They're so nice. Like the yellow one. And there's another color I tried too. The yellow one, the pink one, and I forgot what other color I used. But they're really good. Like the yellow one's my favorite. The pink one's really good too. Um, but I forgot to use them on this look. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some mascara and lashes and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back and I put on these lashes. They're the Velour Faux Mink. Got them from Ulta. They're okay. Not crazy about the band. Then the other day, I it never happens to me anymore. I had a lash like meow, hanging up, sticking me in the eyebrow. I didn't know. And I was real embarrassed. I don't know how long it was like that. Um, <laughs> hopefully it doesn't happen anytime soon again because that was so embarrassing. It makes me not want to wear these eyelashes for a really long time. I'm going to use this LA Girl Glide Eyeliner in White for my waterline. I didn't even put bottom mascara on just to keep the bottom really light. I like this eyeliner. Put some more affordable eyeliner compared to like a $20 pencil liner. Works really well. I'm going to get some in more colors. But I do kind of wish like it was easier to unscrew and like get more product out. Because sometimes it doesn't want to work. So for the lips, I picked this color. I have so many pink lipsticks. I chose Berry Berry by IBY, which was in my Try Beauty box. Or you got a nude color, but this is the one I liked the best. Um, for this look, because I think it's more of a different pink. It's more like a purpley pink. My dress really doesn't have that in there. Also, how cute is this dress? Let me stand up for you. Super cute dress, right? Like, like it's a cute little, it's kind of, it's a cute little flared dress moment. I found it in a thrift store out of the kids section. But, like, it's a kid's 1820. It's kind of short on me, but I thought it was super cute, so I don't care. This lip color is so soft on the lips. Like, I love that it doesn't dry out the lips. If you guys have this color or another IBY liquid lipstick, let me know what you think. Because I feel like it smells real good. And the colors are really pretty. And if you ever want to get noticed by a brand, because I know it's like something people on Instagram really, really want. IBY is a really good, um... Okay, I don't know if it's a person or a team on their Instagram. They, whenever you use the IDY product and you like tag them in the photo, they always reply. So if you want to be noticed by a brand, IDY usually notices on their Instagram. Okay, so I feel like something's something is missing. I'm gonna take the highlighter again. I forgot to do my inner corner highlight. I'm like something doesn't look right. Forgot like the most important part of my freaking face. Eyelashes and inner corner highlight. Brighten up your face in one second. You're like, oh, my face looks kind of dull. Inner corner highlight. No problem. Oh, okay, guys. So this is the finished look. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I feel like it's not as glamorous as I thought it was going to be. But, I mean, the amount of highlight I have over here is great. <laughs> um, 
I feel like it's pretty cute. Like, it's not the most cute look ever, but I feel like it is very pink. I did stick to what I was sticking to today. Even with the pink brows, like, the pink brows actually make me like pink hair color more on me, I think, because I'm not, I was like, I one day probably shipped Arctic Fox Purple Rain here, which is not here yet. I don't know. It's like 8 p.m. almost, and it's not here. Whatever, Amazon. And now with the pink brows, I'm kind of feeling like I should keep it here, keep my hair pink. I kind of love it. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check out Sojo Vision in the top of the description box. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Also, every product that I use today will be linked down below in case you forgot the names or anything or want to check out any of these products. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much. Bye.